Peace, blessings, and love to you and your families, and may Yahweh bless the sins he has always. So as promised, this video is going to be about the face of Yahweh. And I'm going to try to do the best I can through the spirit of Yahweh because, like the scripture says, only Enoch was the only mortal who got to actually witness and see the things that Yahweh showed him. And no man will ever see the things that Yahweh revealed to Enoch. Psalms chapter 33 verse 4 For the word of Yahweh is right and true He is faithful in all he does Yahweh loves righteousness and justice The earth is full of his unfailing love Every day the Most High Yahweh gives people you know a chance this is why every day we are to thank the Most High Yahweh for another day that He has given us, another week, another month, another year. By the word of Yahweh, the heavens were made, their starry host by the breath of His mouth. The starry host is talking about who people call the watchers, the angels, even down to the fallen angels and the fallen watchers. Yahweh made them as well. They came out of the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea into jars. He puts the deep into storehouses. Let all the earth fear Yahweh. Let all the people of the world revere him. Because why? We're going to show you why. For he spoke and it came to be. He commanded and it stood firm. As we always talk about through the spirit of Yahweh, this is the meaning of his name. I foretold the former things long ago. They came to pass and suddenly I acted. That is Yahweh. And so I brought this scripture out because we must understand that the word of Yahweh is true. He has given us his word because, like I said, no man will ever see the things that Enoch saw. Okay? Like I had mentioned in a previous video, after the flood, the Most High Yahweh made that rainbow. And it's kind of like a filter, you know, from the spiritual realm and this realm. This is the reason why cameras always pick up, you know, paranormal stuff and things like that that the eyes can't see. Okay, Yahweh sees all the stuff that's going on in this earth, but we can't see what's going on in the spiritual realm, what's going on in the heavens. All of those, you know, strange phenomena that's going on in the skies and things like that. So Yahweh made all of these things. This is why we must understand. He gave us his words so that we may trust in his words because there's no other way for us to talk to the Most High. You may see that happen in a movie. Or this is what your church people tell you. Oh, you know, I had a I had a dream that God spoke to me. Well, you have to understand, the Most High Yahweh does speak to you in dreams, but He's going to warn you in a different way. You're not going to see the image of Jebus Geist in your dream speaking to you like most of these church people say they do. That's the reason why we have to speak about dreams in this video as well. And so let's go ahead and read Psalms Chapter 119, verse 160. All your words are true. All your righteous laws are eternal. Rulers persecute me without cause, but my heart trembles at your word. So other people, again, they will say what they will, but at the end of the day, we have to put our trust in the words of Yahweh. I rejoice in your promise, like one who finds great spoil. And this is the reason why we are constantly meditating on the words of the Most High, seeking Yahweh through His words. Okay? Because we're going to always find new treasures. The Most High Yahweh says that His word is more pure than gold refined seven times. Proverbs chapter 30 verse 5. Every word of the Most High is flawless. 
He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Do not add to his words, or he will rebuke you and prove you a liar. Like many people have done today, and like they continue to do, they add to his words. They give him an appearance. They say that he has a form and a figure. They say that he died for the people's sins, and he came in the flesh. You see that? So that's why Yahweh will cause these people who believe lies, mockers. Because they don't truly believe in God. Okay? Something that wants to be God. But it's not the Most High, Yahweh. Psalms chapter 19 verse 1. The heavens declare the glory of the Most High. The skies proclaim the works of His hands. Okay? So you have to keep this in mind. It says here, the heavens declare the glory of the Most High. The skies proclaim the works of His hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. They have no speech. They use no words. No sound is heard from them. The reason why... You have to understand this here is because that's the reason why Yahweh gave us his words. Because Yahweh dwells in heaven. Remember that? So in heaven, that is his true form. This is where you're able to see God. Like Enoch did. Enoch actually saw the form of the Most High. And he had no skin color. It was a spirit. You can read that for yourself in the book of Enoch. So it says here, right, that the heavens, they have no speech. They use no words. No sound is heard from them. Furthermore, yet their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens, the Most High has pitched a tent for the sun. And does the sun talk to anybody? No. But why are there millions of people who worship the sun? And many different forms. So you see what I'm trying to tell you? And so who they call the angels. They do not speak. You know. They don't come down here and. Appear to humans. Like humans want them to. But instead. Where it says here. Yet their voices go out into all the earth. That is talking about. Such languages as. Hieroglyphics. Right. How do you think hieroglyphics came into existence? Pictures were used to talk to people. And to this very day, people use emoji. They have their own emoji language. Certain emojis mean certain things. And don't quote me or judge me for what this is here. I just pulled this picture up to give you an example, all right? I don't know what this means, but... Anyways, today, you know, this picture language is also being used. Now, there is also a game called Pictionary. I don't know if you people have heard of it. And so this game... You basically play it with drawing pictures and things like that. I'm not going to spoil it for those that never played it. Also, you have these apps on the phone. Pick to word games. And so again, Yahweh says that there's nothing new under the sun. So all of these things originated, right? From people studying the heavens, the stars, the luminaries. You see that? That's why it says, yet their voice goes out into all the earth. And so now, the way that the Most High Hawa reaches people is through dreams. So let's read Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 3. A dream comes when there are many cares, and many words mark the speech of a fool. I used to use this scripture to say that, you know, we shouldn't take our dreams seriously because they come from your subconscious when you are stressed out. But I was wrong for saying that. And through the Spirit of the Most High Yahweh, I have asked Him for forgiveness. Because we have to pay attention to our dreams. And by me saying that, I kind of felt like I'm taken away from His glory, you know? Diminishing from what He is trying to do. But the Most High Yahweh is always merciful, you know? He corrected me with His mercy and not with His judgment. And so therefore, we have to understand that 
when the most high Yahweh, all right, not Jeebus guys, not some other strange foreign God, but when Yahweh is giving you a dream, it's going to come to you in a, in a vision where, you know, most high Yahweh is going to use things that you are familiar with, people that passed away, loved ones, things like that in your dream to show you, you know, different meanings, kind of like pictures and things like that. So that's how the most high Yahweh is reaching his people, okay, through visions, this is how he reached the prophets back in the days. It was through visions, you know, trying to show them and what they meant. You know, this is why some of the prophets back then, they couldn't really understand, you know, what the Most High Yahweh was showing them because Yahweh was, you know, revealing certain pictures and certain visions to them and they trying to just put it together. So now let's read Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 26. How long will this continue in the hearts of these lying prophets? Your religious leaders, how they tell you, Jeebus Geist reaches out to you in your dreams and things like that. So what they're doing is they're closing your subconscious, okay? That so-called third eye, they're shutting it. So now you got in, the, in your mind that, you know, the so-called Son of God and who they call the Lord and Savior is talking to you. So this is what the Most High Yahweh is referring to here when it says, How long will this continue in the hearts of these lying prophets? who prophesied the delusions of their own minds because that's what they'll tell you hey brothers and sisters Jeebus guys talked to me last night in my dream he said brother you're doing a great job keep getting them dollar bills for me they are all lying prophets this is what the most high Yahweh is saying you know a dream comes when there are many cares and many words mark the speech of a fool another thing we have to understand right Dreams can mean, right right here in this verse, dreams can mean like a goal. You know how many people, they say, well, I'm living that American dream, right? Well, that's what it's talking about. When you set your heart on something that is more material, you know, something that is tangible, rather than it being spiritual, okay? And so, Jeebus Geis is the tangible, the physical. Everybody see it, so therefore they believe in it. So now... Let's go ahead and read the next verse. They think, you see that? Because Yahweh says that he's still going to get his people, no matter what. They're going to call on his name. They're going to be saved. And through us being saved in his name is how his name will be proved to be holy. So this is why it says, they think the dreams they tell one another will make my people forget my name, just as their ancestors forgot my name through Baal worship. So, look what it says here. Let the prophet who has a dream recount the dream. But let the one who has my word speak it faithfully. For what has straw to do with grain, declares Yahweh. Which most high willing, you know, we could make a whole another video talking about this here. What this straw has to do with grain. Basically what this is talking about is, you know how all these Bible scholars all these smarty pants, you know, they always trying to debunk somebody. They always think they got the right answer for everything. All right, so whenever I would bring out a scripture referring to King Nebuchadnezzar and things that might have already happened, these are the first people who would like to say, well, you know, according to this, this happened already in this year, BCE, and whatever, whatever, right? So guess what? That is the straw Yahweh was talking about. All you physical-minded people, carnal-minded people, you have straw, okay? You cast up mire and mud. But, you see, the wisdom the Most High Yahweh is giving us is everlasting. You see that? Okay? That is the everlasting waters that continue to flow. So, again, it's never to, you know, knock anybody, but this is pretty much what it means. When one of these smarty pants out there think they have the right answers, you know, but, again, Yahweh says that he's giving us grain. So the spiritual meaning to his verses, that is the grain that he is giving us. Remember that. The Most High Yahweh says that he will no longer give our grain to oppressors no more. They had their feed. Okay, the Most High Yahweh says that, you know, they ate it up all. That's why they call the locusts. But he's given us grain. So you can hold on to the straw, you know, and you being a smarty pants knowing about Nebuchadnezzar and all the prophecies that have been fulfilled in this year BCE and that year AD 
But Yahweh says, what does straw has to do with grain? Declares Yahweh. Furthermore, right? It says, let the prophet who has a dream recount the dream, but let the one who has my word speak it faithfully. So these people that's talking about a Jeebus Geis, you know, who came to them in their dreams, that is all fine and dandy, but it's straw. It's not part of the word of Yahweh. The Most High Yahweh is going to reach out to you in a way where it's going to make sense, where, you know, it's going to go back to something he said according to his words. And so that's the reason why we have to pay attention to our dream. Once your mind is right with the Most High Yahweh, you don't have to worry about that. That's why this is scripture in Deuteronomy that tells you, you know, if, if a prophet feels like he has a, a prophecy or something like that, let him say it. And if it comes out to be true, then it's the word of Yahweh. But if it's not, then guess what? It's straw. And what happens to straw? It gets burnt. It's not my word like fire, declares Yahweh. And a hammer that breaks a rock in pieces. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 12. But the Most High made the earth by his power. What that means? That means he spoke it into existence. Just like he spoke the angels and you know the watchers into existence. That's what it means. His power. He founded the world by his wisdom and stretched out the heavens by his understanding. When he thunders the waters in the heavens roar. He makes clouds rise from the ends of the earth. He sends lightning with the rain and brings out the wind from his storehouses. Which all of this you can read in the book of Enoch. 